Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome to Inferno. No, not the Dan Brown book and not the uh, IT training company in Nottingham. Um, neither of those. This is Oakham Inferno. Um, Oakham Brewery, I've heard a few people say one of the kind of most underrated breweries that come across recently. Um, I kind of feel like my camera's a bit on the squizzle today. Sorry, I've had a bit of a rearrange, not that you can see, but behind the camera. I feel like the camera's not quite in the normal place and I feel like it's tilted slightly, you know, that way. But anyway, um, hopefully it's all right. Um, so yeah, this is Inferno. Um, now, Oakham are primarily renowned for their Citra beers, just called Citra, and for obvious reasons I'm not bothered to buy that one. Uh, but this looks pretty interesting. This is a blonde ale and across the top of the bottle it says hop with Sterling, Amarillo, Cascade, Centennial and Chinook hops. They actually had this on tap at my, I want to say local, not, it's not really my local, but one of my local better public houses. Um, and I didn't have it last weekend. I just, I knew that I had this into review. What I didn't want to do was have it on tap and then be thoroughly disappointed by this. So I'm gonna drink this and then hopefully get over there this weekend and see what it's like that way around. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, this is a supermarket buy. I got this in Morrison's. It wasn't particularly expensive. And to be honest, I'm hot, thirsty. I've been washing the cars and I just want a beer. So uh, let's get into it. Very cl good clarity, very clear looking pour, that one. Let's get another bar mat out. Right, let's say, yeah, super clear, loads of clarity, you can see almost straight through that. There's just the, the tiniest faint of haze. It might even be the cold on the, yeah, it's primarily the cold on the glass. Um, not a lot of head on this one. Bit of carbonation rushing up, but although the head that is there is kind of quite close foam, perfect white. It might stick around just for a little bit. Um, I'm conscious that I've got red lights behind me. Now, this on the screen that I can see, at least, um, it looks like lager, kind of orange hue. It's actually a bit more yellow. It's a bit paler than I think it's coming across on camera. Um, I don't know if I hold it up, that will do anything. Look at that side, maybe, no. It's getting a bit paler there, but it's really quite straw pale, almost, almost kind of yellow with a tinge of green, almost, in that, in, on the visual. Um, it smells properly hoppy, very, very hop forward. Bit of grapefruit, bit of, it smells like it's gonna be quite bitter. There's also something else in there, kind of, some kind of floral, bit of a spring meadow situation going on in there. It smells quite fresh though. The hops are very kind of grapefruit, lemon, very citrus heavy. It's kind of it really, that. I'll be honest, I'm not sure how this is going to go from the smell. It's going to typically be an aroma I kind of go, oh, I think this might not be the one for me, but let's give it a crack. Cheers. Okay. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. I kind of had huge hopes for this, and it's not quite got there yet. Now, why they've called it Inferno, I'm not entirely sure, unless it's to quench the inferno in the next case the air short it's very refreshing it's got a bit of a lemon sweet lemon thing going on which is i'll be honest it's getting a bit shandy-esque it's that kind of lemon lemonade kind of thing going on in there um it's nice it's not as hoppy in flavor as it is in aroma there's a bit definitely lingering but it's not quite packing that punch it's not especially bitter either Very clean. That's no, actually now I'm quite I'm quite enjoying that. I mean it's a red hot day again. Well I say red hot. It's stuffy outside, you know what I mean? It's warm, there's no sun, it's just ugh, that the worst possible warm weather is that one. Um now I'm coming around to this a bit now. It's um yeah, I mean there's no getting away from the fact it just tastes a bit like shandy. A good shandy, but shandy. Um right, top to bottom taste test. Bit of fizz and a tiny bit of bitterness across the front of the tongue to start with. And then you start to get kind of the, the lemon spike. There's some hop in there. There's a tiny bit more bitterness, but there's actually a lot of sweetness and a lot of lemon, mainly in that second phase. 
That then crushes out. It's like, um, I would describe lemonade as, as quite crushy um, in that you kind of get a waft of sweetness, flavours, and then kind of splash out. It's that kind of thing, that up and down thing. You get that very much in the middle, which I think is why this feels more shandy lemonade -y than it probably really is. And on the swallow, you get a bit more sweetness, sticks around. There's a nice grassy, hoppy aftertaste. There's not too much. There's not too much. Um, I feel like there's actually tons of different flavours in this, but possibly too many. Um, and as a result, it's kind of just, they're all kind of competing and it's not quite showing all of them through. Right, let's take a look at the bottle. Uh, it's just occurred to me actually that I was so eager to break into this, I didn't even show you the bottle. So here we go. <clears throat> I'm not really sure again what the Inferno reference is to. It says Oakum, Inferno Blonde Ale, clean, freshy, hoppy, as I said before at the top. It says hop with Sterling, Amarillo, Cascade, Centennial, and Chinook. Uh, Inferno Beer, beer, uh, the word beer in several different languages. Oakum's brewing team have been visiting the USA hop fields for many years in search of the best quality hops. Inferno's unique flavour comes from five carefully selected hop varieties in the Yakima Valley, which are the ones we said before, Sterling, Amarillo, Centennial, Cascade, and Chinook. A light golden beer with big personality, bursting with fruity hot flavour, citrus notes, and a refreshing finish. I mean, they're not wrong. It is fruity, it's a bit floral, it's definitely citrusy, but... Now I've been kind of not drinking it for a minute, the kind of the hop depth is kind of coming through on the aftertaste more and more. Um, it's a bit less poppy now. Kind of as, a, as an aftertaste. Um, it lists all the ingredients. The best before is on the shoulder, which is January next year. Uh, it's a 500ml bottle, it's 4.4%. Uh, serve chilled, which I have, store in a cool, dry place, and then it's just general spiel. They are based in Peterborough. So, what do we say about this? It's not quite as aggressive on the nose as it was when it was first opened. Start to peter out a bit, it's getting a bit sweeter. I'm not getting huge hits of any one thing in particular, it's just a bit grassy, a bit floral, and a bit sweet. It's lemonade -y. for some, I don't know, not, I mean, it's bit, I'll be totally honest, before I say this, I haven't had a dandelion and burdock for years, and I've never been a big fan of it, so I'm not really sure what it tastes like, but something in the back of my head is saying, I think this is similar. I don't know why, I don't think it is, um, but there's just something reminiscent about that kind of um, traditional British soft drink kind of pre-Coca-Cola era stuff, you know. Um, it's got a bit of that about it, and along with the lemonade, you know, it's, it's incredibly refreshing. And actually, I'm kind of looking forward to having a pint of this on tap. I think it might be, you know, it'll be good. I think it'll be good. It's a good beer, is all I can really say about it. It's good, it's fine. If someone offered me one, I'd buy it. I'm probably not gonna buy it again to have at home, but I would be interested to see what it's like um, on cask or tap or whatever they've got it in. Um, so yeah, that's kind of it really. Um, it's a very okay beer, but it's a very okay price. Um, and you know what, I probably wouldn't thank you for this in December, but right now while it's, best part of 30 degrees outside yeah we'll take it cheers and really that's all i have to say about it so if you enjoyed this video please like it if you haven't already subscribed if you will be so kind and i'll catch you next time cheers